to say as chairman and somebody who's been on this committee for 14 years, I will tell you that this has been without a doubt the most difficult budget <coughs> round since I've sat in one of these chairs to come up with the number four. We had a lot of things, influx, insurances, um, needless to say, usually we're looking to put an increase um, or a, a number on utilities because they're increasing. Right now they're going crazy in the opposite direction. The proposed budget of $27,515,333 uh, is an increase of 7.39%. The public is never going to go for that. We know that. When we had just dollars sometimes <coughs> between the budgets, they, they took a default budget. On top of that, but that being said, we did go through the budget department by department, hoping that we would find something glaring at us. But as we went department by department, we didn't find anything there hitting us over the head saying, take us out, no, you can't do this. By the time we got through the budget, and quite honestly, by going through these Warren articles, there is a lot on the table. It's almost like the voters have a shopping cart. I think that the Warren articles that are out there, even though we don't all agree on all of them, and in different ways for different reasons, at least afford the voters an opportunity to vote for some things that are badly needed, that they've said they've wanted, and will bring closure to some things that have been going on for a while, specifically the roads. As Jerry pointed out, somebody pointed out, there's almost, what, $1.7 million alone DPW. just for DPW. That being said, we can't grant everybody everything. And to leave room to even have the voters look at the Warren articles with seriousness, had to go back and look at every number in the budget. And this is where it probably gives me the most stress because I never like talking about a default budget. But I found myself, and that this was not just done by me, piece this thing apart. But I think I've been working on this for straight for a couple of months with other people, going over every line. And Reviewing it from the standpoint of what was proposed, what we spent, where prices are going, the personnel that we have for the projects that we're proposing in the Warren articles, and trying to come up with a reasonable budget that would allow for some choice of things that we want and need, still have a working budget. So that being said, Every line was gone through. And I don't think we, we really lollygagged through any of this process. There's a lot of us, all of you are entitled to dig into the budget. But you can see when you go line by line, if we had done it, we, would, we, we, would, we don't even have a budget for another meeting, never mind anything else. And this goes long. And while I'm representing this very long-winded, I want to convey to you this was not done easily. All right? But it was done thoroughly. And I could probably keep you here for two more days if I went through every single line. And the approach to how this budget was reviewed is that one individual built the budget up, one individual tore the budget down, we listened to everybody's input on what they thought, went back, <coughs> revisited those entities. And this is probably the best I can give you for that entire process without sitting here through another year's worth of deliberations. The budget amount was for $27,515,033. That is what is in your budget book. The default budget that was also scrutinized at a figure of $26,507,097 at a 3.4% increase. In that default budget, it covered every obligation that we had. 
it also and then some well it had covered every obligation that we had as well as key changes in personnel in areas that was needed did not touch that did not undo that. we've been following I should say with the default number and going over that looking at the fact that not only were things in there from a contractual stamp obligation standpoint but there were also increases built into the default meant to move forward not as much as we would have liked to with the regular budget but certainly with some wiggle room the areas that that's the number that or th that's the budget numbers I don't know how to say this <laughs> that if we need a guide go back and use that I feel they were scrutinized still felt I could sit here and, and give you when I'm done even more numbers that could have been taken out of it but I felt that the default numbers were at least fair I did not feel that the submitted budget was reasonable nor did I feel that the taxpayers would pass it from the default budget we also promised that we would come up with some number <coughs> relative to what's going on with gasoline and diesel gasoline um, it was out in the news yesterday that we are now at 50 percent on barrel cost over what we were last year at the same time it is it, the price on the barrel was fifty dollars compared to a hundred dollars last year and is predicted to go down into the mid-thirties before it starts going the other way I don't have a magic ball I can only tell you where we are now did not give the fuel lines a fifty percent reduction shows to be conservative and I'm asking you to give it a twenty five percent reduction that being said and knowing how the utility companies are um, with electric there should be even though the rates are going up there should be something for fuel adjustment charges that would take something out of that bite chose not to take anything out of the electric line there are increases that are in the default budget that will, should be able to handle that but felt don't know what electric is ever going to do we know that that's going up how much they'll give us give back in fuel adjustment who knows that wasn't touched then I look we looked at some of the things that either from manpower or positions or other contracts that are in warrant articles we could be double funding the reduction first of all in the utilities would be sixty five thousand five hundred and fifty seven dollars sidewalks we have twenty six thousand dollars built in the sidewalks when we sat here what I found problematic with the sidewalks is that we don't have anybody to do them and if just one or two of these projects with DPW passes I don't even know where we're going to get the manpower to do everything we're going to do so that being said until there's a better plan and until we have manpower in place somehow coming in here and saying I have a person and a half after Labor Day didn't inspire me with confidence that twenty six thousand dollars would be spent on the on the sidewalks so I'm asking that twenty thousand come out of the default budget number and on the sidewalk line in assessing last year we moved sixty thousand dollars from legal into professional fees but we also have a very large warrant article as well as hiring an additional person in that department that I think should offset we, we haven't spent sixty thousand dollars this year so I'm asking to reduce the professional fees from the um, the um, default budget 
bottom line number by another 10,000. We have 17,000, uh, actually we don't, we have 35,000 for legal fees um, in the legal budget for um, dealing with the unions. And we've done collective bargaining, thank yeah. you, after 10 o'clock I get fuzzy, um, for collective bargaining. We seem to have a lot of success this year not paying for anything when it came to collective bargaining um, with the fire unions and so on. So I'm asking for reduction on that line of $17,500. When it comes to drains, we have $30,000 requested in the budget, budget, in the default budget, and it's not, it's, none of it is being used from what we can see. I'm asking that you consider reducing the default budget amount <coughs> by 15000 Those deductions hurt no particular individuals, do not go against the recommendations, I think, for the most part, in that default gathering. Um, the total of those deductions would be $128,057 and would give us an operating budget of $26,379,040. Anyone you that by me again, Madam Chair? Okay. The total reduction from, I'm, I'm starting with the default number. I could have started with any number. <coughs> All right. It's just the easiest way to go because I'm leaving, mm -hmm. instead of going line by line and changing this and changing that, I'm just giving you the areas exactly. where I'm asking the changes, which would be the least amount of work. And then 25% across the board, anywhere there was diesel, anywhere there was gasoline, reduce that by 25%. Mm -hmm. Okay. So again, we started with the default number of $26,507,097. Uh, so 26507097 with a reduction of 128057. Mm -hmm. And that should give us $26,379,040. Somebody's doing the math. I hope if I've made a mistake, you can correct me. Uh, 097 minus 128, 057, 26379040. There you go. Finance says it's correct. I'm sorry? Finance, Finance says, says it's correct? correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, can I have a motion? I'll make a motion that we recommend that. I'll second that. I'll just discussion. The only discussion I would have is I understand the gas and diesel, what people are saying. But when you look at the geopolitical world and you look at the volatility, I, I just worry that tomorrow it could go to 100. I mean, right now, today is what it's at. Mm -hmm. But when these people, you know, budgeted, they budgeted for a certain thing. And, 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 you know, you look at what happened in Paris, you look what's happening in Ukraine, you look what's happening in Russia. It's, it's just, to me, it's just so volatile that to make a, to make a, a, a reduction in that area is just, it seems like it, 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 it you know, the stock, the, the equities go down 200, they go up 300. I know. There's, there's no... Rhyme and reason. If I can just comment on that, believe me, I struggled with that. And I've talked to everybody from stockbrokers, that's where I got the $37 figure. Um, and even at that, we're at 50% right now, not 25, but right now we're at 50%, possibly going further. I recently drove to Florida and traveled through every state on the eastern seaboard and saw gas prices as low as $1.86, but consistently all the way through the entire eastern seaboard, we're not an anomaly over here. This is what's going on. So I have to look at where we are, and I have to think that a lot of people are going to be really aggravated if it increases by 100%. Might that number be off? It might. The other thing that I looked at, everywhere that I looked, and it's, I'm using I, but there were a lot of eyes on this. Mm -hmm. I'm just using me collectively so that 
you know, you can, you can throw the pies in this direction, that's okay. Everywhere I looked, I also looked to see if there was an offset. Where I looked at these things, obviously, some of these th things that I'm asking you for, there's other places in the budget or the spending that is warranted saying, you know what, maybe we don't need that much. One of the things where the gas is, is, con is in, the offset to that could conceivably be the fact. And this is, you know, while we're gambling on the gas, gamble this way in your minds as well. We're about, what, $40,000 left in pot less in parking revenues this year over last year, Fred. Mm -hmm. And that had to do with the fact that last year, some people thought it was a nice summer, but really not so much. For people who love the beach, it wasn't as hot as it could have been. Mm -hmm. All right? So the year before last, we had <coughs> all thought it was more than forty, but $40,000 more. So if you're looking at a $65,000 cut and realizing we could potentially have added parking lot revenue should we have a good summer, one may offset the other. So I was looking for ways and, and saying, and it, that's as much of a crapshoot too. But to put that much money in the budget when it's coming down and ask for increases, we've got voters out there saying, you know, why, why are you increasing something that's a dollar less a gallon than it was a year ago? You have to do something. So there were those that wanted me to take more, and we talked at great length, looked at a lot of numbers, and said, we think this is rational, and it, it will take that gamble a little bit. You're going to run short. Going to run short? Yep. We pay the state contract price, no federal or state taxes in it. In November, that was $2.45 a gallon. Through the end of the fiscal year, we ran an eleven thousand dollar deficit in gas and diesel. Are you, with the are current you appropriations, to that, are you required to buy gas from the state, or can you That's buy? It's the only way we can get no federal and state taxes. Right, but you are not required to actually purchase it through. No, the we can go retail down here, and 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 we then to get the taxes back, we have to have a bookkeeping error, and you know, and we have to go and file for request to return taxes. And so there is an alternative. But you can file that. We can, but we don't have to. That's, that's going to be somebody else's job. My point is mm -hmm. that we're paying the going rate at the pump. The state contract comes down as the price of gas comes down. But they renegotiate, don't they? Not until next September. September? When September. did they negotiate? A when year ago. A year ago, September. A year ago, September. Right. But weren't we told that that negotiation would happen before then? Well, all I know is the contract is good through September 2015. Okay. And right now, with those decreased costs going along during this particular year, we ran an $11,000 deficit in diesel and gasoline. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to cut more money out of there, then I'm going to have to transfer funds from other accounts in order to pay for diesel and gasoline, or vehicles aren't going to run. Well, that's yep. doable, too. <laughs> it is, if you don't want to have police protection or well, fire or ambulance or police. plowing. I mean, or, I mean, don't, you know, we, when the state needed money and they shut off the lights at, uh, at Ocean we'll Boulevard, we right. all knew they had better choices than mm -hmm. that. I understand they just that. wanted to cause some local pain. So, so to suggest that you have to take it out of police to, to, to suggest local pain is, is probably very similar. Wouldn't you agree, Fred? The, the reality is that I'm stuck with what's in each one I of those budgets. I understand that, but there is there is there is a lot of... of I don't uh, want to hear your political rhetoric. Uh, well, I don't want to hear right. your filibustering either. Right. Do I have any amendments to the motion? I think that's it. I think uh, those comments are out of line. So and weren't yours. Uh, and we can leave it's the seat. Why are you telling me I can't have a political oh, profit? Oh, okay. Oh, that's it. Fair enough. You're done. Profit. We're almost at it. We're almost at an end, gentlemen. Um, All right. I in due respect to the rest of this committee, is there any what, other comments? What was the number on the gas? You have diesel, the 25%. No, is it was just 25% is 65,557. But Fred has said that that will give us a deficit of 11,000, approximately so 11,000. Do I have any amendments to the motion? I was just going to make a comment that. Okay. And to threaten us is totally unacceptable. Yeah, that's the old scene. I'm, you know what? No. I'm Money is returned to the general fund every year. I know. And he would just be returning 
ten thousand less dollars to say that the police it won't be police protection is absurd it's just absurd all points are well taken I would ask you gentlemen to move on with what has transpired oh, I'd is, like to make a comment this is where we make the budget Jerry is the comment on the budget I will say this I've studied this budget inside and out I've asked so many questions you heard me there's enough money in this budget that Madam Chairman has proposed to cover everything. We touched and only a sorry. fraction of what perhaps could have been, mm -hmm. um, and we did it. Everything thought over hours. It wasn't. I don't like this. I don't like that. There is a rationale. There is not a. There's not a big punch list. There may be disagreement in what the number is. You may feel the proposed budget was more of where you want it to be, you're all entitled to your opinions and to voice them here in this review. That's what this review is for. That's where I am as, as your chairman and, and only as one person on this committee. As I started this whole conversation with, this was the most difficult in the 14 years that I've sat here ever to have to come up with. And Mike, you know that, because I'm yes. always on the other side of the <coughs> no, But I feel there is enough money in this budget. Some lines may have to be moved around. I'm not, I think if I had gone line by line, it would have sounded more like a challenge um, to the town manager. And with all due respect, he knows where to move things and, and how to move things when he needs to. That's not saying. I didn't throw these numbers out with the need from the beginning to have to move anything. And a lot of these new positions, they're in there. They were putting them in the budget. They're there. So we do have some growth, even with the default budget. So I don't want to, you know, it's, it's... Some growth? There is some growth. Some growth? Well over a million dollars in yeah. excess in that default <laughs> budget, in my opinion. Well over a million dollars. Well, again, I'm we've going... Got, we've got the, the, the New Hampshire Municipal Association... Uh, who our town manager just just on Tuesday night is telling us <coughs> that the NHMA is monitoring the critical factor of the Obamacare changes, which is too confusing for anyone really to understand. But we should have complete confidence in NHMA because he's never seen them make a mistake. Okay. Yet just two weeks ago, I'm bringing up the fact that the NHMA put out a legal opinion saying that multi-year contracts must be approved by Tom Warren article, and he replies to that that he's entitled. Okay. Entitled. Tim. But the voters are not entitled to have a choice in the matter. We, we heard Yet it. this is embedded in the default budget, along with a variety of other things we've seen. He's getting a 12.2% raise. 12.2. We've got raises, the double-digit raises, across various parts of this budget. And they're in the default budget. The voters are not being given a choice. Now, you can reduce, and I think you're correct when you say, I started with the default budget and I started reducing. I think that's a great place to start. We all but did you cut enough? Not from my point of wait view. Wait a minute. While I'm, I'm, let me clarify that. While I'm using the default number because it is the simplest place to right. go. Right, it's the most logical. The yes. budget was reviewed up and down. So, in other words, we also went back to the budget itself <coughs> and every line as it was requested, compared it to the default request by legal contractual obligations, as well as the growth that was in there, compared that to what was spent this year and yeah. last year, and that's how I that I heard all that, Madam derived. Chair, but I all don't right. want to feel, so I don't want you to sound like I'm ungrateful for right. the effort, because no. I know the effort was, was, was uh, probably a very large one and a difficult one to make. Okay. okay. I'd like to but move from, on to the vote. From my point of view, for those who are suggesting it's too much of a cut, there are those who seriously believe and have Could substantial have reason for believing it is not even close to enough. Okay, that being said. What was the total amount you took out of gas? The gas and diesel. Right. You took out 65507 which represents 25 of the requested amount that had an increase over last year. Okay, so the proposed, the amount even in the default budget has an increase. Yeah. We took every line that had diesel and gasoline. I just wanted the, the number. Right. That and then we took the 50% reduction from where we are, and we have that 
on the advice that it's going further mm -hmm. and considering the fact that if we have a good summer with parking lot revenue perhaps the income from that will offset what we've done entirely mm -hmm. okay can I give you an absolute on that no but I think we do owe it to the voters to say we cannot give you an increase in fuel charges when we have as large an decrease yeah, at no, the pump. I, just, I mean, no, it's, it's, it's right. all right. Yeah. I'm going to ask one more time. Is there any amendments? No, uh, Jim. I, 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 can I have a question? Sure. Seeing I'm new to this process, you keep saying we, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure who we is. You keep saying you, we did this to the budget and we analyzed this. I've and listened to every single member here. Mm -hmm who has spoken about any part of this budget. Mm -hmm. So if you contacted me and you discussed a part of this, I took it seriously and worked on it. So when you say we, are you referring to what happened at this meeting? Is that what you? Everything that has happened at this meeting as well as anyone who contacted me. It's not, I never held a meeting. No, I'm not, say, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I'm not clear on we. Who we is. The we That's is everybody here. You were all free at any time okay. to ask questions. That's fine. There were multiple questions that well, came. You, you were saying things like we analyzed. Right. Oh, we did. On on where the gap. No. Se several members. You're saying have we reviewed numbers. We okay. analyzed the gas and where it was in the <laughs> stockbrokers at, and right. and I'm not sure where all that. I just don't know that. Well, Jim, you can be confident in one thing. We did not include me, except for one one phone conversation I had with Eileen on a general notion four months ago. Well, I don't care who you spoke. No I'm just saying I don't know. I don't know where that collective we is. I, I mean, I don't know if it's people outside this room, or if it's just the people in this room. Only I don't the people in this room. Okay. All right. Unless there was a professional, like I said, I called a few stockbrokers that I know and said, you know, this is where gas is. You're gonna I. I don't have a clue. Okay. Tomorrow, are we going to be going the other way? And they're saying, no, they anticipate that it'll go down into the 30s. You may want to go out and buy oil stock. I don't know. But every now and then there is something that I don't know that I will call a professional in a generality okay. to say, where are we going? Madam Chairman, the, the list there that you have, how many items? Seven, eight, nine, maybe? One, two, three, four, five. But that's the point. That is not a we list. That's your list. That's the items that you feel in this budget need adjustment through this final review. You is are that correct? All at, this is the final review. That's so right. Wait a second. That's, Those, that's your list. That and I presented it that way. But that's there right. are there are. So other it is people. not a collective we list. We haven't voted on it yet. No. no. The point being that we have done, I think due diligence oh, yeah. over 12 sessions and 15 people listening to the presentations of mm -hmm. the department heads. And here we are in the final hour where you have come up with a list. Any one of us could come up with our own Did you? 15. No. Uh -oh. well, because I think I'm satisfied well, the point with the, the due diligence that has been done prior then to this session. Mr. Renier, you'll vote accordingly. Right. Well, that, I just job. wanted to make that clear. That, that is your list, not a no, we that list. No, it is no, not it's a list collected from every in the no, committee. No. Oh, oh, I don't, I don't, no. Did you call it? Did oh, you call it? Just vote yes or no. No. Let's have a vote. Just vote yes or no. So I'm ready to make a vote. I'm ready to take a vote. The fall budget of 26507 and 097, Article 12. What you, what'd you say? The, 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 Was the there a correction budget. on that? Are we using the wrong amount? So 526,507,97, yeah. Right. Minus 128,57. Gives us $26,379,040. So that's the item that you want us to recommend to move forward to the deliberative session? Yes. yes. The 26, the public 26 379, 379 public hearing. Public hearing. To the public, the public hearing. hearing. Yes. Yeah. That so is that the, the motion? That yes. would be the budget yes. amount. Yes. Yep. So there is a motion <coughs> to move to the public hearing right. the figure of 26,379,040, right. which includes the 128,057 reductions from the proposals that you made. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Would you like would to call for a vote, Madam? So this is a budget committee yes. budget. 
Yeah. This right. is the budget committee budget. Right. Right. We had a proposed budget. Oh. We saw the default obligations. Mm -hmm. All right. Right. And in the default budget also was built in some other things. Mm -hmm. All right. It was not just strictly obligations. There were other things in the default. Well, let's just not complicate it. That's, right. no. that's exactly. the bottom line. That's it. So that's, yeah. the that's the bottom line with yeah. those five deductions in well, those well, places. Right. No, so you're, you're, are we ready to make a vote on your argument? Are we ready to make a motion? The, 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 motion. Right. the budget that was been floating around here for the last few months is not going to be approved by the voters by the town meeting, by the town legislature. And we are the only committee of the town legislature whose only job is to produce a proposal <coughs> that they will find acceptable. I mean, I can't criticize that argument in any way. And this leads. I just think we could have been more. Um, it is what it is. The word you're it searching is for is, is aggressive. Okay. Right. It is what non aggressive. I think we, we could have used Occam's knife here. Okay. Let's talk about that. Let's find out. We still have business to do. No, it's a, Occam was a philosopher that said, "Find things right with his clothes." All right. Call for the vote. Timmy, all right. So, civility here, I guess. Given everything. Philosophy is not vulgarity. Okay. Tim, everybody's had the ability to make an amendment. All right. I'm going to call for a vote. All those in favor? Of this number. Nine. Nine? Nine? We'll find out when, when the hands are done. Oh, eight, got the minority eight, anyway. Four, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine. Eight, nine. 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 Somebody's hand went up. Okay, those that are voting no are Kravitz, Rainier, Ladd, Waddell, and O'Laughlin. Is that correct? Yep, the four rebels. I didn't know that was a prerequisite. <laughs> Not to be able to act. Where are you going? Madam Chair, I move we adjourn. No, no, we're not done. We have okay. minutes.